Hello to guys, Tef Roger here, and in today's video, we're bringing you my long-awaited Manadium deck list. I've been pushing back this uh, because I've still been testing on the thing, and then I've also just been extremely lazy with uh, doing this uh, deck profile. But I took it to locals. I didn't do the greatest, but I have updated ever since then. I upped the count from a 40 to a 42. I'm still deciding if that's the correct amount. Uh, there are some cards that I can cut, um, but I just, I, I've been really enjoying how the deck is right now. I've been able to play, and honestly, I've not been breaking or anything like that. And surprisingly enough, I was breaking more at 40 than I am now at 42. So, let's get started. You start off with the three of the balls. You got the Manadia Meek. You play triple Riam Heart. You have three of the Rykart. You have three Samsara, two Starfrost, you have triple Fenrir, and then the one Kashira Scareclaw. Uh, that's just the normal ratios. You have to play those. If you play any more, any less, uh, you're, you're kind of a bozo. What can I say? Um, it just keeps the package extremely clean, and it's extremely consistent. All right. Then right here, we have three of the Calarium. Uh, honestly, I really like this at three, but because I'm playing the extra field spell, as you guys are about to see, I might cut this down to two and then have, like I'm about to show, uh, I kind of want the two Calarium, two Regphobia, but I'm not sure. You guys can tell me down below what's goopier, the two or the one, or I mean, or the three, because it's so easily, like, you could just search this out with either Amritara, you can search it out of the... Uh, the spell card, the obsession, and uh, I also run terraforming inside the deck, so it's extremely, extremely consistent. Then the one Wraith Soth, and then the primitive planet, I mean, the primival uh, planet Perlarino. Uh, yeah, I'm playing all of them because whenever I first built this deck, I kind of wanted to do the whole Visus lore, so I have to explore every planet. You cannot leave any behind. And all right, I play the one of terraforming. I play two Obsession to get me into my Calarium. I play double Arrival. The one Imaginings, because Pot of Greed is crazy in this deck. Uh, the one Rota. And then not a lot of people are playing the Reframing, but I like it because it just makes my going first boards extremely crazy. And uh, it's just another Omni Negate. It's really nice. If your Baron gets negated by an Imperm, you could just, you know, Reframing. Uh, you have a nice little backup. Playing Tree Droplet, three Enemy Controller, two Talents, and then the one called by, and that's it for the main. Okay, let's head into the Extra Deck. So the Extra Deck, you run two of Lightheart, um, just gets you into Rykphobia. Rykphobia goes into your Scare Call plays. Extremely, extremely good. Uh, the one of Dark, because uh, most of the people that I play against are playing decks that have dark monsters. For example, there's Tear, there's Labyrinth, uh, there's Branded, and everything that I play against just has dark. So it's uh, really, really good. And uh, Labyrinth and Tear are still gonna be played heavily in uh, the top metas and also with Horus. Being able to steal an MST with this, it's crazy. That's like a free 3K body on top of this. That's like 4,850 attack. That's pretty good. The one cross sheep. SP Little Knight and the Appaloosa. If you end these two plus your Baron and your um, Bestial Dispatter, that is so good, bro. Like that end board is cracked. You you just ninety nine percent of the time you're gonna win. Manadium Trisukta, Visa Samritara. We have Baron de Fleur. We have Dispatter. We have Chenging, and then Crimson Dragon. The really good synchros that you just play in this deck and then vicious astrolabe at two uh this card is so broken i don't know why it's not once per turn being able to just destroy one of your opponent's monsters and then it gains the attack like half of it is crazy and then lastly we're playing typhon because it's it's just a really strong extra deck monster if your deck cannot play typhon or sp little knight this format it's um it's gonna be a rough time for you honestly Let's move on to the side deck. So for the side, we're playing Triple Ghost Bell. 
as I was mentioning, I play against a lot of uh, people that are banishing or doing effects like that, like Branded, like Labyrinth, and uh, Tear. So that's a really good card. We're playing Drool because Drool is just really good this format. If you Drool a Fire King player, then it hurts them pretty heavily. It hurts my own deck if I'm playing a Mirror Match and any other combo heavy strategy or anything that just likes to grab cards from the deck. You know, you guys know what Troll and Lockbird does. Uh, three targets for my Triple Tactic Thrust that I'm about to show you guys. I don't actually have the full card. It is just proxies at the moment. But because of the new set of Maze of Millennia, uh, I'm just going to, you know, cop them now that they're at such a better price. And then I have the Harpy's Feather Duster and the Lightning Storm. I want to make space in the side deck for a um, Herald of the Abyss. I just have not been able to find it. And then three of the thrust, ignore this. These are gonna be the real copies uh, sometime soon. I'm just waiting for the thing to be like officially released and then instantly copying those. And then lastly, Abyss Dweller, cause I love shutting down the grave. It's just such an amazing card. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next future Manadium content that I'm gonna post. Manadium is the best deck. Have a good rest of your day guys. Peace.